Hey guys, it's me Janelle here and I am back with another video. Of course, why else are we here? Um, and I'm doing something that I have not done since I started my YouTube channel. First time ever, I have my foundation on already and I'm going to test out, I just wanted to save time. I'm going to test out the, the, the Rihanna, the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette. And also, this is my first time using this Tarte palette. So I'm just gonna jump right into the video. Not gonna waste any more time talking. I'm gonna pin my hair back real fast because this always gets in my way. So I'm gonna have to start off. Let me, let me remind you guys, look at all the fingerprints. <laughs> let me remind you guys about the Fenty Beauty right so you know it's all shimmer so I'm going to use this tart first time even get into this but not even a swatch darn it I might go have to dip into something else yeah I don't think that's gonna work out the way I think the way I thought it was gonna work out in my mind so I have this cheap palette that I got from Beauty Treats. I think I got it from, uh, <laughs> I'll think of it. Can't think of it right now, but I will. Um, Burlington. <laughs> yeah, I got this. So I'm just gonna use this instead because I thought that Tarte, see what I mean? I just opened that Tarte palette and I thought it was going to have a lot more of what I was looking for and it didn't. So yeah, it's all good though. I'm going to take this big fluffy wet and wild brush and I'm going to just blend this because um, I already set my crease and all that. So I'm just going to blend this, this shade right here. Let's see if it shows up. It does a little. Yeah, I hope you guys can see it. It's actually a really good palette. I forgot. You have to dip in a few times, but I don't mind doing that. I don't mind building up my shades. I don't mind one bit. I hope you guys can see it. And then I'm going to dip into this warm tone brown. That one. Wow, I forgot how pigmented these are. And I think I paid $3 for this palette, do I? Yeah, I think I paid about $3 for it. So, you know the reason why my videos are so long? Because I talk a lot. <laughs> but I talk a lot because sometimes I have to explain myself. Because I'm, listen you guys, I'm not, I didn't go to school for makeup. Makeup is just something I love to do. I mean, that's the bottom line. So, I like to like explain myself because I want to make sure... Whoever is watching my videos is understanding what I'm saying because I'm not a professional, so I don't, I don't use like, you know, professional terms, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, and that's why I like to talk a lot in my videos. It might be annoying to some, but I think some people like it. I still don't want my videos to be 5,000 years old. 5,000 years long, sorry. But anyway, so I'm gonna go into this. I'm gonna go to this shade over here. Same brush. Hopefully, it doesn't blow it out too much. I wish you guys could see how I'm sweating bullets. 
and I did bring it all the way into the crease because I am going to cut my crease today. I'm going to attempt to cut my crease today. <laughs> yeah, I told you guys. Cutting my crease is not my... Me and cutting my crease is not best friends. We're like... Frenemies. <laughs> yeah. Like my daughter and my sister. They're frenemies. When my sister isn't around, she... Guys, can you believe it? This is a $3 palette. $3. It is doing some things. I am sweating bullets. How's it looking? I think it looks awesome. Wow. And I am going to get a smaller brush because I do want to build up into my crease more Jesus I'm sweating bullets I'm gonna get this small tapered brush from Sigma it's the E45 probably the most expensive brush I own honestly and I'm taking that it's like dark and I'm taking my time because I want this to do most of my work for me. So when it comes time to cut in my crease, I'm not struggling. Because like I told you guys, I'm working on it, but I'm not the best. And it's my husband and I date night before he leaves for his deployment. So... See, I already messed up. It's okay though. We can go back and blend this out. I need to add a little more because it's starting to look a little... Three dollar palette, guys. Okay, now it's time for the disaster. <laughs> okay, sorry, I decided to cut my crease off camera because I knew it was gonna take me a long time. So now I'm just back to blend out the the edges and I'm going to do that dark brown just right in here And then I'm taking some of that Wow That black is amazing like It is so 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 pigmented So yeah, that's it for right now. And I'm just gonna go right into my Rihanna palette, which is gonna be the star of the show. And I think I'm going to take that gold at the end. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking it too. Why am I using that gold? It's because, it's because I want to do a pop of color on my lower lid. Wait a minute. And I'm using this little sponge applicator thingy. Oh 
holy moly. There is a lot of fallout, but it's real pretty. Maybe if I spray, I can get I'm a little underwhelmed with the palette. <laughs> it's like, okay, wet is giving me a little bit more, I guess. It's like I want to really love it, but it's just not practical. And how often are you going to be wearing these colors? Like, like I must admit, I was kind of like excited to get this to have it, I guess. <laughs> but like now that you have it, it's like, how often are you really going to use it? You know, that's all I'm saying. What do I know? And then look at this, guys. There's so much fallout. It's like crazy and glitter everywhere it's I guess you can guess where what my thoughts are let me put my uh, concealer on and this is a color pop And I'm going to mix in a little bit of my Urban Decay. Just to brighten it up a tad. And I'm probably just going to use a brush to blend this out. Let me see, maybe. Yeah, I'll just use this little concealer brush. You know what I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my face I'll come back when I'm doing the under eyes and yeah I'll just come back when I'm yeah okay hey I'm back so the only thing I haven't done yet is put on this um, the lips the stunner lip liquid lipstick or whatever but for the rest of my eyes I went I went with these two shades right here the blue and the light blue um, you could barely see the light blue. Um, and for my inner corner, I use these two shades right here. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all I did. Put on my lashes, mascara, all that stuff. So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and put on this lips. Let me come a little bit closer right there. Should be good. I'm not even going to use a lip liner. I want to see how this works by itself. So with no lip liner, you can see right here, but that may just be me and not, and not the thing itself. Fix that. So lips are on. Face is done. I did everything. Prime, set, 
control whatever so this is the finished look of what I came up with using the Rihanna palette of course you could not use it by itself so don't forget about my cheapie that just showed out it came up it came and it showed itself honey and let me tell you this palette Mm. Jesus man I'm telling you guys use a lip liner <laughs> that's all I'm telling you anyway so here this is it this is my cheapie but as I was looking around and you know how you guys know how much I love 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 this which is my flower beauty and uh, in the color scarlet and i said wait a minute they look kind of similar so let's see i'm gonna see if it is here is this is the fenty beauty And here is my flower beauty. So, so, so similar. You guys see it? So similar. And so far, it feels the Fenty Beauty, I'm not gonna lie, feels real comfortable on the lips. But then again, so does my Flower Beauty. So it, it's a matter of preference, I guess. I, um, the, f the Fenty Beauty is a little bit more like, like a thinner formula, like it's more loose. This one is a little bit thicker, but it still doesn't feel uncomfortable on the lips. So it all depends on what you want and how much you wanna spend. I told you guys, I did not pay for this. My best friend bought this for me for Christmas, so yeah. So overall thoughts on the Fenty Beauty, I'll be honest, it's not my favorite. I love my best friend, she's the best in the world, but as far, she didn't know. I mean, she just bought, bought it for me because she saw it, she liked it, whatever. But as far as the palette goes, it's just not practical. I mean, as you can see, I didn't even finish completely doing my makeup on camera because, I mean, it's, it seems a bit unprofessional to do that, but I just, it's just not a practical palette. The colors seem pretty, but when you swatch them, to me, the pigmentation is not all that great. And it's so glittery, it gets everywhere. I mean, you probably can't see, but on my face right now, it's a lot of glitter. Yeah, not my highlight, glitter on my face. And uh, yeah, and you also have to incorporate some other kind of palette to get some kind of um, transition shade going. And it's just, for the price of this, I would really wish they would have put some matte colors in here, matte transition colors in here so that it could be a complete palette. Even with that, I still wouldn't say it would be my favorite because again, the pigmentations aren't that great and the palette is very glittery. So if, if you're somebody who likes glitter and likes um, that type of look, you'll love this palette. I don't wear glitter every day. And even so, it's not like it's even a metallic finish. It's glitter finish. I don't know. People like it. It wasn't sent to me. So therefore, I mean, I got it for free, but it wasn't PR or anything like that. So therefore, I'm going to give you the real. And I told you guys, I will always give you the real deal on everything, whether I paid for it or not. I did not pay for this because my best friend got it for, my, got it for me for Christmas. But I'm still going to tell you the truth. I'm not, I wouldn't have purchased this. Sorry, bestie, I love you. But, uh, and another thing is, I, I don't, it's, it's not my favorite. I mean, it did okay. The eye look came out okay, but it's just not what I was envisioning. I didn't have to work so hard at it and everything like that. So, again, that's just my opinion. I'm telling you the real truth, how I feel about this product. I wouldn't purchase it. I wouldn't repurchase it. I wouldn't have purchased it in the first place for 60 something dollars for an incomplete palette. 
But anyway, like I said, always bring you the real tea. I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next video. Please subscribe and I'll see you. Love you. And the ones that are with me, thank you for returning. You are the best. I really appreciate you. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.